Hi, and welcome to this video demonstration on Eventide's Omnipressor 50th anniversary reissue. As an owner of the original Omnipressor, it brings me great pleasure to be part of this demo. The original Omnipressor was issued in the early 1970s, of which only 200 units were ever built, and they usually have a high price tag on them. However, Eventide has decided to offer a piece of this audio history to any audio professional, music producer, and engineer with the reissue. In this video demonstration, we're gonna take a look at its features, settings, and more importantly, we're gonna hear some awesome audio examples. If you stick around to the end of the video, we're gonna do a compressor shootout with the classic Eventide on the presser against the reissue. Let's have a look. There are three areas to affect gain reduction on the unit, and that's threshold, function, and attenuation limit. You also have control of the dynamic behavior including attack time and release time, with 0.1 milliseconds set to the fastest setting of the attack, and a one second release time for the slowest setting. Both versions offer a line in and line out, bass cut, meter function, and output calibration. The original unit has three output calibration options, whereas the new unit offers a variable output control, which is much more flexible. Adding to its versatility, the reissue offers a mix control, a side chain switch to trigger the input signal from an external source, and a link function that allows you to link for stereo or multi-mono, adding as many on the pressers as you wish. To begin applying gain reduction, let's increase the threshold, adjust the function from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock for standard compression, and increase the attenuation limit. Think of the attenuation limit as a maximum range of how much gain reduction is going to take place. My starting settings are to crank up the threshold all the way, attenuation limit all the way, and then adjust the function accordingly. The original unit works the same way. Increase threshold, attenuation limit, and function. This results in standard compression behavior. But as I mentioned, the Omnipressor is more than just a compressor. It's a dynamics tool. When you rotate the function counterclockwise, you're gonna get into expansion mode, also known as gating or gate. And when you go past three o'clock, you get into upwards compression, where low level signals are increased in volume and high level signals are reduced in volume. Additionally, you can increase the gain limit, which adjusts the gain control range from a full 60 dB to as little as plus or minus one dB. This is how the original unit works as well. Gain reduction is signaled by the green LED and gain makeup is signaled by the red LED. Think of this as an automatic leveler or automatic volume rider, where you're using gain reduction to turn down the volume of the signal, but then you're using gain makeup to rapidly boost it back up. This will make more sense in the audio examples. But before we get there, let's use the Omnipressor as a standard compressor. When I think of you, I think of growing old easy. Settling down real early in the evening Hot twin-size mattress in the middle of a snowstorm Stealing them covers and keeping each other warm Loving on you till we both go six feet Ain't got much, but we're living that big dream It's you and me and the basic channels Yacht full of weeds and some beat up flannels Little house out of town, hunker down to the highs and lows When the sky comes down, baby, I'm gonna hold you close It's you and me and the basic channels
now that you hear what the compressor part sounds like, which is great, let's get into some creative uses of dynamics using upwards compression and very fast attack and release settings. For this next example, we're going to explore the attack and release settings to see how fast we can get it on a percussive loop and use the mix knob to dial in some of the original sound. So as you can hear, the Omnipressor is very versatile. It can work in just about any type of material, from percussions to vocals to guitars to just about anything that you throw at it. However, I did promise you guys that if you stuck around to the end of the video, we're gonna do a compressor shootout. So let's go ahead and do that next. All right, that was a lot of fun. At least I had fun. Now you might be asking yourself, 
Hey Alex, do I really need another compressor in my toolbox? You know, we're living in a time where we are bombarded with plugins. You can find free plugins, you can find plugins that are nine bucks, 29 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks and up. And really we have too many options in my opinion. But when it comes to using outboard hardware or choosing a specific piece of hardware that you wanna use for your mixing, for your mastering, for your production, for your recording, I find myself looking for something unique. And so this is where the Omnipressor comes in. It's not just a compressor, it's not just a dynamics tool, but it's got a very unique sound. Again, being an owner of the original Omnipressor hardware, I was very excited when Eventide issued the 50th anniversary reissue. Well, that's all the time that we have for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Be sure to leave your questions and feedback in the comments. Also, for more information, be sure to check out eventide.com. Thanks so much for watching.